Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Today I'm here uh, to show you a fun little quick and simple uh, Christmas ornament you can make and uh, I think uh, it's very pretty. Looks complicated but it's not. Just made with some circles. This particular one uh, that I made I used uh, several different items. I want to say uh, this paper is an Anna Griffin paper that I have and um, this is a wild orchid craft uh, rose which I inked it up so that it would better match the ornament uh, with um, hmm, I forget what color but uh, I needed to darken it up it was more pink and this is not a pink ornament and then I used some ribbon that I had hanging around uh, it's got this beautiful gold, I don't know if you can see that, gold edging around it. And then these little beads are just some beads that I found on clearance. I think, um, you know, I'm not sure. It could be Michael's. It could have been Tuesday mornings. I don't know. I have a lot of beads uh, hanging around the craft room. And these are uh, Mervin or Marvin, I guess. So uh, there's that. That's not important. You can use any beads, any paper that you want. I'm just trying to show you what I used. And this tool is from some tool that we used to sell at Stampin' Up. I really like that tool. Um, it's soft and it's easy to work with. Um, and then I, for this particular ornament, I used these, these are from the jewelry section, and I forget what to call them, but I used two of them. Can you see that? These little pins, and on the bottom end, I actually made a hook here using my jewelry tools to bend that around um, so that I could hook this bead onto the, to there, so if you can see that. And let's see what else. Uh, the bead that's right here is just from some inexpensive beads at Michael's. I just have a couple of containers like this, and it has all kind of really pretty, um, what we call them, iridescent light colors in there. And I think, oh, and I, I use my Stampin' Up! two and a half inch circle punch. And so what you want to do, if you make one, is you know you want to have like anywhere from eight to twelve circles. And you're going to fold those in half. So um, let's get started. I think I've told you everything I can about that particular ornament. So today I'm going to use this beautiful cherry cobbler tool again from Stampin' Up! Uh, we no longer sell this. Um, you can go look in the clearance section and there may be some. I'm not sure. I haven't checked in a while. Um, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure. Uh, there's lots of things in the clearance section and it's always changing. So you might want to check that out and see if we have any over there. Uh, and then I'm going to be using these corsage pins that I bought from Walmart a while back. And what I've done with them, I've gone ahead and colored them using my uh, Stampin' Blendabilities uh, Cherry Cobbler. And this is the darkest marker in the uh, set of three. And this is another Wild Orchid Craft Rose some more of that ribbon but in a more red this is kind of like a wine color it's got the gold edging on it that's why I like it and it's thin uh, I cut this to about 12 inches and then some more of those beads so I've gone ahead of time and put one of my halves together I've uh, glued about what six two, three, four, oops, lost count, one, two, three, four, five. I've glued five together. 
and then over here um, so you're going to start with this uh, like I said 8 to 12 depending on how full you want your ornament to be circles and you're going to fold them in half and use your bone folder to crease it and then you're going to simply uh, glue them together use the quick dry to do this next step and I did in the first uh, ornament but with this one I decided um, I would feel better just going ahead using the um, hot glue gun one because it's faster <laughs> so what I want to do is take one of my pins a corsage pins I'm going to put this one I like this little shape that's going to be Ooh, am I out of range? My bottom. Oh, you know what I forgot to do here? You want to make sure you go ahead and rub that one more time just to make sure everything is nice and glued together. I already did that on this one. Okay, back to what I was saying. I'm going to take this other one and, oh, excuse me, sorry. My camera is in a place where it's easy for me to hit it <laughs> and so I'm going to put my two beads on this end and I'm going to take my hot glue gun and put glue right down the middle try not to glue myself you want to decide what uh, what side is your top side of your um, ornament you know what side you want up so there's my top my bottoms here and I want this pretty close so this is all the way up to the ornament and then this one I want to leave some space for my ribbon so I don't want to go too far down with that I'm gonna make sure I get it in that glue though there so not a lot of room but just some room for me to get my tool around there I'm gonna press that a little bit oops okay and then next thing I want to do is take my ribbon fold it in half and I'm going to place that in there as well I'm going to make sure my uh, pin decoration is between there. On my other ornament, I actually made my little ribbon <laughs> a little bit too short, but I mean, I can still hang it, so it's not really a big deal. Don't need a whole lot of that, actually. And just put that in there like that. That should be good, I think. And then I'm going to add my other, add my two halves together. Just like that. And hopefully everything is nice and centered the way I want it. Okay. So back to my uh, quick drying adhesive. I'm just going to do one side at a time. Oop. I find that when I use a light touch of squeezing and doing the swirls, I don't make as much as a of a mess as I normally do. So 
Oh, you know what? <laughs> I need to trim that off. It's a little long, so let me cut off. Cut some of this ribbon off, and I, I could cut it a little shorter, but I think I want it to stay down in there. So I'm going to keep it long. That way I know that's adhered in there too. It just gives it a, you know, extra strength. If you know what I mean. Okay. I'm going to line those up. not lined up right there. There we go. Yeah, right there. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to take my bone folder again here and just kind of rub that. And now I can glue down the last side over here. It's lined up. Sorry if I just went off camera. I'm not looking at my camera right now. <laughs> Trying to make sure this is all lined up well. And I'm gonna rub that. Oh no. Hmm. Not sure why that wasn't in there well, but we'll fix that, not a big deal. I'm not even sure if I'm going to take that out of the video, you know. Stuff happens, especially when I'm recording, so. Okay, so I think everything is nice and adhered together. Nothing should be coming apart. back in there <laughs> without sticking myself uh, good luck with that and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little hot glue on here and go ahead and just stick it straight down the middle of that Taking care not to go too far down. Okay, I'm gonna make Okay, that should be in there very good now. <laughs> I'm just gonna adjust everything.
you want this to be nice and centered in your ornament. So one advantage to just using the uh, the liquid glue is you do have a little more time to maneuver your pin just the way you want it. Um, and like I said earlier, that's what I did on the, the first one. Um, but I found that <laughs> it kept, uh, it took a little while for it to dry and it kept falling out. So I thought if I use the hot glue gun for this step, it would be easier. Uh, honestly, I can't tell you which one's easier. Depends on the individual, whatever works for you. Okay. That should hang. Okay, and then separate these. I want them evenly spaced. Now, what I could do at this point, and I left, I forgot to mention it on the other one. I'm not doing it on this one. You could uh, put some glue on the edges here and then dip that in glitter or you could get some stickles or like in this case I'll take this off um, I don't know if you can really see it but I just used a little wink of Stella on the edges I also inked my edges because I didn't like the white cardstock showing through so that's another thing that you could do um, when making yours I want to make. Uh, okay. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my tool here. Tie it around both the ribbon and the uh, the pin. Let's see if I can do this on camera. <laughs> and I'm just gonna make a little bow. So I'm gonna. sure that's centered in the front. I don't want it off to the side, so I'm trying to be careful here. Pull that tight. Just my ribbon. in here is oh you know the other thing I did on the beads uh, on the other one is I actually added a little glue to the uh, to the pin so that the beads would uh, stay in place it's okay if they they twirl around or whatever they just might make it a little more challenging <laughs> for you to work with your little ornament than you'd like. Okay, I'm going to pull this a little smaller than I want and then pull it again. Then once I have the bow um, about the width that I want, then I'm going to start pulling it oh, pulling it out and shaping it. And I'm cut the tail. 
Oops. Wow, I don't remember this being quite as challenging <laughs> when I did it off camera. Cut this a little more. I think that would look really nice with maybe some gold glitter on the edges. I might do that later off camera. Okay, and then I'm going to add my flower. And I think, um, hmm, I don't have, oh, well, you know what? Let's see. I don't have my little tool here that I usually use to oh here to um oh no that's not gonna work <laughs> ah I thought I was prepared when I before I started this video but I need uh, like a little tooth a toothbrush not a toothbrush I can't even think um a little paintbrush or I have tweezer bee that I usually use to curl uh, my little stem here or you can cut that off either way so I'm just going to go ahead and add that using a little hot glue preferably not gluing myself in the process go ahead I mean glitter would be more dramatic gold glitter but um, it's getting late here and I just want to get this video made and up for you and okay I think there you are what do you think like I said there's a lot that I could do to you know give it a little more um, sparkle and I might do that like I said off camera later and um, if I have an opportunity I'll share that on the pictures but I don't know so there's that and here's the other one that I made So, um, there's one more thing that I wanted to share with you before I go. In my last video, if you watched it, um, I shared uh, some, I did a project share where I shared these little uh, paper lanterns that I made for um, table, de uh, well, they were for gifts. They weren't part of the decorations because they were inside of a gold gift box, which was part of my table decorations for a women's event at my church. Um, so what I wanted to share with you is that as a thank you for the month of December um, uh, for those who place an order at my on my site or through my site www.lmdstampin.stampinup.net you go there click shop and um, you will be shopping through me <laughs> um, so for all my customers that order put in a Stampin' Up! order for this month, December, um, I will be sending you uh, one of these lanterns. Now it won't have the little battery powered tea light, you will need to get one of those. But what it will have, it will come already scored and um, it will come flat in the mail. So you will need to need some adhesive and if you don't have any of that you can put that in your order when you order at Stampin' Up! Um, it will have some tool in it uh, it may be this. I have different tools. If you go back to that video, you will see uh, there will be some type of flower in your package and a charm. Every one is different. The papers are different. Uh, which tool you'll get is different. It's just uh, whatever I put together for your packet. But um, 
I just thought it would be a lot of fun to uh, be able to give these away as a, a Christmas gift. Now this is the larger one. The one I will be sending is the two and a half inch size. And again, if you go back to that video, um, that project share, you will see the, the little lanterns and all the different varieties that I made. So I th don't think you'll be disappointed. So um, the ladies seem to really like theirs that received them at my table. You will also have a small piece of uh, uh, twine, baker's twine, so that you can attach your charm to your lantern. So again, um, if you put in an order over, at, if you go over to my website, www.lmdstampin.stampinup.net, and you shop from there. You just simply click shop or shop now, whatever it says, and order through me through the month of December. You will receive uh, a paper lantern in the mail, and I will send you an email letting you know that your little uh, thank you gift is on its way. So when your order is processed through, um, I will get that out to you. So uh, again, I, I hope you enjoyed this simple and fun project. You could do this with uh, kids or, you know, it's just a simple circle and some pulling out your stuff, <laughs> your stash, your beads and ribbons and all of that and decorating it up and I'm sure you can make it, like I said, with a lot, have a lot more uh, sparkle and shine to it by just adding some some glitter or, or even spraying it with a, a, some type of a spritz or, or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed these projects and as always I look forward to being with you again. Thanks for watching.